Hello everyone. Today I would like to tell you about a tool in Sharp Trader which allows you to analyze and compare ticks from different feeds and brokers. And you need this to understand how many arbitrage situations occur for an instrument, how fast your feed is, how much faster it is than your slow broker, how much time you need to open an order, and so on. So there are many features to the analysis. So to get to the tool, I'll open the Sharp Trader menu and select Analysis. And here we see the names of our sessions and our currencies. So the currencies which are highlighted in green are those we indicated to collect ticks for prior. And for these green instruments, we can analyze them using the store tick analysis. And if the instruments are white, we can only do analysis in real time. I already added a GBP USD slow broker and a GBP USD fast feed in London. And I'll be adding these brokers to our analysis. And by moving the arrows, you can add these here. I click store tick analysis, and now we can pick a period. So we can select today to analyze. Uh, just to begin, um, I'll also you can choose fast quotes. So out of the ones you should pick your fastest, um, the price type can be bid, ask, or midpoint. And the different open difference I'll explain later. So I select the period as today and click run. A calculation occurs. And as you can see, there are lots of ticks and you can see a huge jump here. And we see many differences to open, for example, here 30, 45, but here it depends on what you're trying to achieve with the analysis. And for us, uh, you can set this up two ways. Uh, the first is that you will eliminate small entry situations to eliminate the possibility of a false entry when you're setting up the locks for your arbitrage, for lock arbitrage. And another way is, for example, if you're setting up hedge arbitrage, you can eliminate large entries. So you can target differences to open, which occur due to differences in liquidity providers and not anything else. And based on what you're trying to achieve, you can analyze different things. So I'll show you how to analyze each difference to open. So if I put my cursor here, we can see that it was around 12.30. And from this, I can basically set a custom period to kind of zoom in on the graph. So I'll set a custom period. So here I'll put, for example, 12.29.59. So just before the situation happened, and here I'll put 12.30.02 just after and once i've set this time i can click run again and as you can see we've zoomed in on these ticks for the large difference to open and we can see that what happened is here the fast feed started moving away uh, from the slow broker and it was already higher than the slow broker here And we can tell that we had enough time from the point where the arbitrage signal happened to the point where the slow feed started moving. So basically, we can calculate the time uh, between uh, the signal and when the slow feed started moving. And we can calculate and see if we had enough time to enter the position and analyze this. So you can see how fast their feed is, as it is much higher than the slow broker.
So our fast speed is much, much faster here. And if we take a look from here to This is where the large difference happens. So we'll analyze from here to over here where the slow broker started moving. So the first time is 1230.01.198. And the time where the slow broker moves was 1230, 4.30. So 4.30 minus 198 is the time our order needs to be executed in to reduce the slippage. So you can do it this way. And I'll go back to today, uh, to the period of today in our analysis and show you a diagram, which is also very helpful for such analysis. So if you double click on the chart, seen here, you can see the max difference, the min difference. And if you double click on it, you reveal a diagram which shows the sell by differences. Um, and as you can see, this one is very difficult to read because it's such a large uh, period of time. So let's make it custom again, and we can keep, we can set the period from 12 to 14. So 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And we'll click run. So I set this, click run. And then we'll double click it again just to open up the chart. Uh, it's still large, so it's quite a bit. I'll keep decreasing the time range until I see a good diagram. So it's already becoming smaller, as you can see. So we'll still decrease it. So 12.30 to 1. Still too big. We'll try this. Perfect. So here it worked, and you can see the diagram that shows all the differences to open um, with uh, basically it also shows if the sell or buy side was better, and this is very good for various analysis. So you can tell many things from this. And specifically, we need to discuss what this feature allows us to do. So firstly, you can analyze if you have a fast feed from somewhere else or you have our fast feed. You can compare, uh, you can compare the feeds and pick the best um, while comparing our feed or your feed to the slow broker. Um, you can also see how many arbitrage situations occur for each symbol in each currency and select the currencies which will create the most profit for you. And in this way, you'll reduce the risk from using too many uh, instruments or currencies. Um, in the same way, you can analyze large and small differences to open and how much time it took for the price on the slow broker to converge with the price on the fast feed. So you can see many, many things here um, using this graph. You can also see the execution time, uh, as we've discussed, that you'll need to enter the market to avoid uh, slippage. So you can see how much time you have to enter the market and if that will be fast enough. And there are many other things you can do to benefit your analysis using this tool. Um, this is a very sophisticated tool uh, that gives you the stats based on the ticks that you've collected. And we hope that this video helped you understand how to use this tool and a little bit about it. Um, and please like the video and subscribe so other people can see and uh, understand how to use this tool. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.